Let's go ahead and map a network drive. In a previous video, we manually map a network drive uh, onto a client computer. But imagine that you have to do the same task to 100 or 200 computers. It's basically impossible to manually do this. So group policy allows to remotely or, or complete a specific task from a central location. Okay, so in order to map a, let's say that I wanted to map, if I open File Explorer, and I go to this PC and double click on the data drive. Let's say that I wanted to map the share folder using group policy to all the computers in the domain. Okay, so for this, I'm going to go over the group policy management uh, snapping. And here I'm going to click on homenet.local. Notice that if I go to uh, group policy objects by default, when I install a, an Active Directory domain controller, I have two default group policy. One is the default domain controller policy, which applies to the domain controller. And I also have a default domain policy, which applies at the domain level, which everyone will be affected by this policy. Okay, so usually you don't want to edit this default domain policy. You want to create new policy and every time you create a policy you want to create a policy to perform in a specific action you don't want to create a policy and enable a bunch of settings or perform a bunch of actions because it becomes extremely difficult to um, to troubleshoot or make sense of that policy okay so i want to map a network drive so i'm going to click on a group policy objects and i'm going to right click on it and click on new and for this group policy, I'm going to name it Map Network Drives Policy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now the policy has been created. So now I can edit that policy. So I can right click on it and click Edit. Notice that when we set group policy, we can set group policies or settings at the computer configuration level or at the user configuration level. Um, some policies are, uh, are available in both um, at the user level and the computer level, but some policies are only available at the user or at the computer level. In order to map a network share, this is something that is done at the user level. So I'm going to expand preferences. And then I'm going to expand Windows settings. Here on Windows settings, I'm going to click on Drive Map. And then I'm going to right click and go to New, on Map Drive. Okay. Here on Map Drive, on the action, I'm going to leave it as Update. On the location, I'm going to click on these uh, dots here. And actually, the location, I need to enter the UNC path of that network share on the network. So that is DC1, or this is dash 01 uh, forward slash, and it's actually the human resource shares. Uh, let me double check. Uh, if I double click on the share, notice that I have two different shares here. One is the human resource and the other one is the text share. So I want to enter that network share and not the name of the um, of the directory. So if I um, if I right click on the share and then go to properties and click on sharing, notice and that this is uh, this is actually the UNC path. Okay, so it is actually human resource. Okay. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to check reconnect and label as human resource. Um, I need to assign a drive letter to that drive. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select V. And for everything else, I want to leave it as default. And I'm going to go ahead and click apply and OK. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and close uh, this group policy. And every time you create a group policy, um, in order to apply a group policy, then you you need to link 
the policy either at the domain level or at the OU level. Um, this is this policy is a policy that I want to be. I want all the users inside my organization to be affected by this policy. So I'm going to link this policy at the domain level. Okay. So uh, notice that if I click on the group policy, when it says link enable. It, it, it doesn't have any settings here, so I need to link this group policy. I'm going to click on the domain, I'm going to right click on it, and then I'm going to say link an existing GPO. And then I'm going to select that policy. Go ahead and click OK. Now, if I click on the policy again, notice that's what it says link enable. It says yes. Location is at the domain level. Okay, so we linked the policy. At this level, so every single user within my organization will be affected by this policy. All right. So next, what I want to do is to head over to the client computer. All right. So here I am in the client computer, and if I go to, if I open the File Explorer, and I click on this PC. And notice that I already have the human resource um, network share mapped here. So I can double click on it and I can access that share from here. I can create a new folder. So that policy uh, has taken effect. Okay. So group policy usually don't apply immediately after you create a group policy. Um, group policy takes effect. Uh, or the computers actually refresh group policy every 90 minutes. But there is a way that you can actually force the client computer to pull all the effective group policy from the domain controller. There is a command. If you do window R and you type CMD, and there is a command called GP update. Okay, GP update. Forward slash or backslash force. When you type this command, the client computer is going to uh, pull or refresh all the group policies that apply to the local computer or the logged in user from the domain controller. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And at this point, it's updating the policies. Computer policy updated completed successfully. 